In the previous chapter, we discovered what global variables are. In this chapter, we will learn how to handle them in Talend. First, let's duplicate the job we have created for the context variables. To do this, right-click on the job, then choose Duplicate. In the small window that appears, give a name to the new job. I'll call it Using Global Variables Job. Then hit OK. To be consistent, let's change the description for our new job. Right-click on it, then select Edit Properties. Then change the purpose and description and hit finish. Now open the job. Perfect. For this first part, we will deactivate the file reading subjob. Select the component to disable, then right click on one of the components and choose deactivate. When components are disabled or deactivated, they will no longer be taken into account during the next execution. It's like we commented out some code. Now go to the tjava1. Under the component tab, we will declare some global variables. Let's get rid of this code and use what we have learned in the previous chapter. So, to create a global variable, we use global map that put then the name of the variable, then its value. Awesome. Well, that's it. We have created two global variables, name and speed, and we can from now on use them anywhere in our job. Now, let's show the values of our two variables. Type in system out println the name is then call the global variable using global map that get the name of the variable. Now one important thing we said that when we create global variables we don't define their types whether it's a string or an integer. To avoid any problems related to the type of our variable always parse the global variable when you call it. It's simple. We just have to add the type between parentheses before the call of the variable. And since our first variable is a string, we'll add string before calling the variable. Easy, right? Now let's use the second variable, which is an integer. So, system out println the speed is concatenated to integer between parentheses, then global map get speed. Nice. Let's run the job to admire the beauty of our code. Awesome, the name is Mario and the speed is 5. Now I'm gonna show you another way to declare global variables. We will do it with a component that good old talent offers us. First deactivate the tjava1 and add the component called tsetglobalvar. You can find it in the palette under custom code. Open the tsetglobalvar by double clicking on it. It's not a complicated component. We have two columns. In the key column, we put our variable name, and in the value column, we put the value of our variable. Easy, right? Let's create the same variables we have created previously using the tjava. Click the Add button to add two variables. We'll call the first one name, and its value is Mario, between double quotes, of course, because it's a string. And we'll call the second variable speed, and since its value is an integer, we won't use the double quotes, and we'll just put 5. And now let's call our variables. Let's create a tjava and link the tset global var to it using an on component ok link. I want the tjava2. All we have to do is call our variable using the same global map that get variable name. Let's get the name from the tset global var. Actually, what we'll do is print the double of the speed. So system out print a link, the speed x2 is integer global map get the name of our variable which is speed and well multiply it by two we can do that because it's an integer okay now let's run the job perfect the name is mario and the speed x2 is 10. awesome in this lesson we have seen how to manipulate the global variable that we have created these are called user defined global variables now you must be wondering what is the difference between context and global variables this is a good question, and in the next chapter, we will learn the differences between global and context variables, and when do we use each one. So, join me.